Well, I'm here. Like many of you, well, all of you actually, if you're watching this video, you survived 2020. Congratulations! Ooh. And there was much rejoicing. <laughs> I'm actually recording this video, believe it or not, on the first day of 2021. Pretty crazy. Considering how much I partied last night, <laughs> let's just say I was ready to put 2020 in the rearview mirror. But here's the thing. As we enter 2021, or as we already are here, I always wonder what is coming next. Because if we're trying to put something behind us, we need something to look forward to. Otherwise, we're just running in a circle and about to repeat, you know, the past. If you don't want a year like last year to happen, again, don't do the same thing this year. Do something different. Now, some things are out of your control. Pandemic, I'm not blaming anyone for that. Crap happens. Yeah, there's people saying, oh, if you didn't wear a mask in 2020, you're the reason. No, just leave it alone. The virus is the reason that any of it happened. Unless it was created in a lab, and if it was, then conspiracy theories out there we created it we're trying to kill off the population there's too many people in the world oh my god we need to thin the population and that was the whole point of this it was a government man conspiracy anyway <laughs> setting all that aside uh we have some stuff to look forward to and i want to kick off this year uh doing something that i promised a while ago but i backed off because youtube decided that you guys are all bots and took away all my revenue by saying you guys are fake. Uh, that is continuing our 50,000 subscriber giveaway. Uh, we are giving away a PlayStation 5, an Xbox Series X, or a Nintendo Switch. Heck, maybe even all three if I feel generous enough here. Uh, to do that, there'll be a link down in the description to enter. It's going to have you do a bunch of various things. Follow on Twitter. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, the biggest thing is being subscribed to the channel is the one required thing. Uh, so if you are chosen as a winner but you're not subscribed, I will choose a new winner. So please be subscribed to the channel. Uh, we are trying to hit 70,000 subscribers coming up, and heck, you know what? Screw it. If we hit 70,000 subscribers, we'll at least give away two systems. So right now, the plan is for one. Uh, if, if we somehow get to 70,000 this month, we'll give away two by the end of the month. Uh, and I'll announce the winners in a live stream I'll do at the end of this month. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but it, it's going to be a fun time. We're going to enjoy it. I'm going to try to find other unique ways to bring up this giveaway in videos besides just spamming you at the beginning of every video. But we are now moving on to the brux of the video. You see, it's January. And there's only a few things that are certain when you enter January of a new year. One is that many of us are going to make New Year's resolutions that we're never going to live up to. As an example, I can promise you we're going to have a Nintendo Prime podcast every single week this year. Ha! <laughs> Come on, you know that's not happening. But beyond resolutions, there's also another thing that happens every single January. Well, except that one time that it didn't. And that is a Nintendo Direct. Now, I saw this article on Game Rant, and I got excited because like, here's a bunch of reasons that we're going to get a Nintendo Direct in, in January. And I'm like, yes, I get to make this cool video, but we're getting this awesome Nintendo Direct. Here's a whole bunch of reasons. And it's like a 12-paragraph article that boils down to, hey, Nintendo always has a Direct in January, except that one time that they didn't back in 2016 when they were already getting ready to cancel the Wii U. So Nintendo always has a Direct in January. Except when they don't. Um, last year's Direct was a Pokemon one. Uh, so they announced, like, you know, the Sword and Shield DLC, all that jazz. Uh, I don't know if we're going to get a general Direct. We're probably going to get something, right? It could just be about Super Mario 3D World and, 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 and you know, Bowser's Fury. Because we know that one's coming. Uh, we also know, hey, the Zelda 35th anniversary is coming up literally, like, in February. So it would make sense in January uh, to announce things that are going to start for that. You know, maybe a new trailer for Breath of the Wild 2. Maybe a Zelda 35 where, like, you got, like, a dungeon, like, race through a dungeon thing or whatever. I don't know. Uh, I, I think there is some interesting concepts they could do for this. Maybe a collection pack a la Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Even if that's not going to come out in February, it could come out, like, right after you're done with Super Mario 3D All-Stars in March, like at the end of March or something. I don't know. Also, did you know that there's all these rumors about a Switch? Like a new Switch? Uh, 
a, a, a system that doesn't really replace the current one, but is better and more powerful and 4K and 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 I don't know is gonna solve the world's hunger problems and uh, make sure nobody ever lives on the street again. Um, yeah, that thing. Uh, that's supposedly coming this year. We've been told, I don't know, that it's been coming every year for three years. So is it actually coming this year? At some point, it's going to be right, but it's just going to be a new generation. Like, we're going to hit, like, 2022. And, hey, look, we finally, the Switch Pro is real, except it's a next-gen Switch. It, okay. I mean, that's just a normal console cycle at that point. So I don't know what's going to happen. There is a higher than likely chance we are going to get a Nintendo Direct this month. Uh, I'm not sure what to expect from it. It could just be a game thing. It could be the Zelda 35th anniversary one, if they celebrate it at all. Remember, it's also Metroid's 35th this year, so, I mean, should we just, you know, I don't know. There's also that, that, that one game. Remember Bayonetta 3, like, announced, I don't know, three years ago at this point? And the only updates we ever get is development is going well. In fact, they just updated a week ago and said development is going well again. No new screenshots. No gameplay teases. Um... Is that vaporware? Is Band out of three vaporware they're hoping people just forget about? Uh, I guess I'd rather it be vaporware than end up like Cyberpunk 2077. And I'm not even talking about the bugs. In fact, shout out to Beat 'em Ups. Go check out his 46 minute long review of Cyberpunk, where he kind of ignores the bugs for a majority of it and just talks about the game itself and how CD Projekt Red just lied. And I'm hoping that's not the case of Bayonetta 3, where it was announced, but it's all just a lie. Metroid Prime 4 kind of seems that way too, but we're trying to give them an excuse because they had a reboot development, but that was a couple years ago now. We should see some... I, what's going on at Nintendo? I don't know. And this is before we consider, when the hell can you buy a PlayStation 5 and an Xbox? When, when can like you just go online randomly, anytime you want, done with work, on your lunch break, and just click a button and buy a new gen system? When can you just, if you want throw a mask on, and head to your local Walmart and just pick up a... Psh, who knows? Summer? Maybe? I know some people are saying, oh, it'll be better in the spring. Will it? Will it? Have you seen that the scalpel prices haven't done anything but gone higher? I don't know. In fact, everyone I know that owns a PlayStation 5 right now um, paid more than MSRP. Hmm. Except for you. If you win it, <laughs> a PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, or Nintendo Switch, you will be paying absolutely nothing. Don't worry about what I pay. <laughs> That's not your concern. But, yeah, I'm just, I don't know what to expect in 2021. I think when we always look into a new year, it is important to have goals. It is important to uh, set yourself up for success. And for me, I think I've already done that back in 2020. Example, I graduated my first full semester of college ever without failing a single class. I have been in college several other times. This is the first time I've seen success, straight A's, full semester. Woo! Getting ready for my second semester, right? Uh, I survived all the homeschooling in 2020 with my kids, only to have 2021, have more homeschooling. But because of what I experienced last year, I'm actually set up better this year than I was last year to help my kids succeed in school, even if they're doing it off of the back of me being a teacher with no credentials. Uh, and then on top of that, on top of all that, uh, I think I've found a new rhythm for making videos. I think I found a new rhythm uh, for what I want to do with a podcast in the future or a potential radio show I've talked about. And why? Because of the failures I had at trying to keep those things going back in 2020. So really, what I'm saying is 2020 taught me what not to do or how to do things better in 2021. You know, I lost weight last year. In case you didn't know, I, well, I, I ended up putting a little bit more back on over the holidays, but I ended up losing about 85 pounds. I don't know if you can tell. I don't, you know, I know I'm not like sitting here looking super fly and all that. My hair is not done. Again, this is the morning after party and I should be sleeping. But the thing is, I already know what I need to do for the rest of this year to lose weight. I don't need to like make some New Year's resolution. I will at this point next year, you know, at the January 1st of 2022, I'm going to be 140. No, I'm not going to like set some goal like that because I'm already doing it. I'm already losing weight. I don't need to set that. But what I will say is in 2021, I suspect, or at least I hope that at some point, 
we can start to get back to our lives. I don't know what life that is. I don't know what life is going to be in a post-pandemic world. I don't even know if we're going to be in a post-pandemic world at some point in 2021. Yeah, we have vaccines. That's great. It's a really cool technology they're doing with a protein and teaching our bodies to kill the protein that feeds the virus and all the variations of the virus use the same protein. So like, it's cool. It seems like a really neat science thing. But I mean, when are all of us going to be able to actually get the vaccine? Don't know. There's going to be a worldwide shortage. I mean, they're projecting by 2023, the whole world could potentially be vaccinated by 2023. <laughs> What's that got to do with 2021? So, and some of us are just living in a world where we pretend that it doesn't exist anyways. I live in Wisconsin and it's funny, nothing to shut down in Wisconsin. The only thing that feels off, uh, you know, in this world, if you weren't worrying about the pandemic is one, all the establishments requiring that you wear masks and then most of them not enforcing it as you walk around all the stores and all the restaurants and see half the people there aren't even wearing a mask and nobody's saying anything. <laughs> uh, and then yeah, some in some di indoor dining at fast food restaurants um, doesn't exist. Like McDonald's, you know, they're not letting people dine in. But uh, you can go into Olive Garden and sit down with your family and have a meal. So I, I honestly don't understand what's happening in my own state. It's like we, it's like we're consciously aware there's a pandemic going on, but then like we just don't care. <laughs> and then you go, you know, I, I, I live close to the border of Minnesota. So then I, you know, go like an hour and a half uh, out in the Minnesota and all of a sudden everything's shut down. It, it, they're limiting how many people can get in the stores. They're temperature checking at all the doors. <laughs> we stopped temperature checking in Wisconsin six months ago. Like, it, it's crazy. I don't know what the world's going to look like. I don't know how many of us are still going to be here at the end of this pandemic. But what I do know is that gaming is going to continue to exist. Nintendo is going to continue to do something. Microsoft, Sony, the whole world's going to move forward with or without us, uh, hopefully with. So I hope you join me for this journey that I hopefully am going on with you guys because I survive everything. I survived 2020, so I presume I'm surviving 2021. Um, so stay tuned to this channel. We have a lot of great things. Uh, I have some plans. I don't want to really fully announce plans. One of them you guys sort of know about with the radio show. Uh, but I, I have some plans, some things percolating, some things I'm working on, a whiteboard full of ideas that I actually plan to do. But I'm not going to announce things and make a bunch of empty promises and, and do a bunch of uh, New Year's resolutions. I mean, if you have a resolution, you can go down in the comments and, and tell me. But Living your life by resolutions, I don't think, is a good thing. Having goals is fine. I have goals. But I'm not going to force myself into some mundane routine to get to those goals, right? Find a method that works for you. And I think that's my mantra for 2021. Everyone, just find a method for whatever you're doing, whatever you're trying to overcome or be successful at, that works for you. All right, folks. I'm Nathaniel Robojets from the Center Prime. Maybe we get a direct this month. Maybe we don't. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Catch you guys in the next video.